A Canadian charity is working to bring positive change to parts of Guatemala. Cause Canada is implementing a microcredit program. It hasn't always been a success in other parts of the world, but the program in Guatemala seems to be working. Global's Jamie Dahl recently traveled to the region to find out what's behind the program's success. Perched in the prickly highlands of Guatemala is a village where you can actually touch the clouds. Mayan families have called this home for centuries, but living at 13,000 feet is a feat in itself. The land, it's not really productive. It's like a poor land. Rainwater is collected in large pits, and they ration every drop during the dry season. Families live off whatever they can grow. The nearest store is an hour away down a long and winding muddy road. There are no stores, let alone a bank. But some money is starting to be made. She bought some sheep, and also they uh, grow potatoes as well. Tomasa Paula Mendoza is just one of several mothers here also now running a small business of sorts. She applied for a small loan through a microcredit program funded by Calgary's Butterfly Effect Foundation. $64 got her a sheep and food to look after it. More than two years later, she's paid off her loan, receives a second one and expanded her herd. They sold the potatoes and then uh, there's some like uh, extra money after that. Then they bought, uh, you know, clothes for her kids to go to school. The program is run by Cause Canada. Aid workers ride motorcycles donated by Canadians to travel to surrounding villages, teaching women how to read and write and about budgeting. Over the past two years, 37 women in this community received loans. All of them have since repaid them back, and many of them are now on their fourth loan. The women apply for the loans in groups and then divide up the money. They have one year to pay back the unsecured loan. If they don't, they can't qualify for another one. So if somebody forfeits, there's a, there's a certain degree of shame within, the, within her, that person's group. Um, they're viewed not respectfully by their contemporaries, their peers. So there's a fair amount of social pressure to succeed. There isn't social pressure to take a second loan, but there is pressure to repay the loan. Since the program's been running, only two people have defaulted. Tomasa Palo Mendoza doesn't plan on being one of them. She's grateful for the opportunity and hopes to grow her business so her children will have something in their future. Jamie Dahl, Global News.